So we got a big box, big shiny box, Hammerfall bunker. Let's crack this baby open. So in case you're wondering why there was no magnetization video for the uh, Firestrike servo turret or the new um, ATV, the Mario Kart, uh, because you don't really, really need to magnetize those. You can see here we've got our sprues, very heavily packed sprues, but very nice. This is a good and heavy sprue as well, it's good thick plastic, so hopefully this will go down fine. Oh, I've never seen that before in a sprue. Look, it says front. How delightful. I wonder if there's one that says back. No, there's another one that says, hang on, are these the same? Oh, now that is nice. That's how they can do this so cheap. That's a nice touch. I like when they do that, you know, ways to reduce the cost. It'd be nice. It's nice to have like options and it's nice to have cheap. Cheap and options is probably a bit unrealistic. So there's only one real option on this and that is these guns, which if we skip ahead, I've pre-consulted the instructions so I know what I'm doing. We've got that step here, which is the only one we need to magnetize and this should be really easy to do. So expect a quick video. So here we go, all built up. And this is a big chunky boy. Nice and easy to build actually, very easy to build. And as you can see, um, hopefully it should be easy to magnetize too. Essentially the guns are, I'll just go in there. Actually that's upside down, isn't it? Yep, so that way around. So all these need is, well, file down, a hole drilled in the back of it, and some magnets in, and then we can either drill through that and glue magnets in, or we can just glue magnets in the back there. So if I bring my light a little closer, hopefully we'll be able to see what we're doing. There you go. So a magnet glued there and a magnet glued there, and then a hole drilled in there for a magnet, and that should grab it, so. And the turret comes off. So the way they've done these uh, turrets, by the way, is they've got that piece and that piece on both the double sprues, and those are the same pieces. That's the other side of them. So it's literally, they've really done a good job doubling those up. This is a good bit of kit, and it's huge. You can see the size of it. If I put, like, the ATV next to it, or the uh, servo strike turret, or what else is big that I've got kicking around? Not much actually, it's all away, but it's big. And for the price of it, it's good. Magnetizing this should be relatively easy. I just need a file. All I'm gonna do is take the back of that. I need to get these files cleaned actually. Just file that down. And now I'm going to grab my drill. So left to right, one, two, and three millimeters. There we go. We've got a handy little mark made by our. Let me just check to make sure that all those are in roughly the same position. That one's slightly higher, so something to be aware of. I want to, I'm just going to do one of each type of gun to show you what we need to do. So. I'm going to put a three millimeter magnet in the back of this just to give that extra strength. I really should get a little Dremel out for this, but it's too noisy. So the three mil bit is just tearing through that plastic. Right. So let's find my three millimeter magnets. Those look like twos. Are these three? You'd think I would plan ahead, but no. Okay, so these are two. I want to put, these are three millimeters wide by two millimeters deep. And you can see, if I take one off here, I have a little bit more to go. I want that flush. So pop that out. I actually hope I've got 16 of these. I think I've got 16. So let's just take the two millimeter in. 
actually I probably need the one millimeter again. Ooh, it's hollow. Well, that's good to know. It means you've got to be careful though. Yeah, that is definitely hollow. Funky. Yeah, the three millimeters is a big step up from the two. And it does have this awful habit of basically rather than drilling, just pulling the drill bit in. There's a nice big hole. You'll notice I avoided a giggity there. No. Whoops. So obviously the hole is too deep at this point. You can see the magnet is more than flush. It's actually, let me just focus on that. There we go. So you can see the magnet is actually a little bit too deep. The glue will help with that. So we're going to need our normal tools for this. So too many magnets spoil the broth. Let's get rid of those onto the floor. My magnet putting awning tool. Who knew things had multiple options and super glue. I think this one's nearly empty. This is good glue, this one, this with the handy dandy applicator. So all we do is we take our glue, turn it to block our lights, which is gonna be inevitable, I'm sorry, but blob of glue. This one is going to be our master. If you've watched any other magnetization videos before, you'll know I just pick the first one at random to be the master. And from then on, that's all it is. So I just want one magnet. Ah, I need to stop biting my fingernails. <laughs> Screw you, hippie. Right. So. Ooh, magnet. And I'm just gonna keep. So if I just keep pushing that back and forth, hopefully what we wanna happen is the glue to set in the slot. There you go, you'll see that that will now glue in and not annoy us. So just give a few minutes for the, or a few seconds for the glue to go. And we're going to decide what size of magnet to put on the back of this. All right. So you can see that this is going to go in there. And all we need to do is take a magnet. So if I flip this over, you'll see on the other side there, here and here, it's quite dark and it's hard to light inside it. So if you see those two flat spots, those are where, those are the other side of where the gun is going to go. So if I glue a magnet, yeah or here, or with any of the other ones of them, then it should hold. Now, what size of magnet? Well, let's see what we've got. Those are either five or six, these ones. I think they're six. So we'll try a six by one and see if it holds. So the glue should be pretty much chooched. So if I then drop that in there, Basically what I want to do is just drop a magnet onto the back of that and see if it holds. If it has holding power. So if I can let go of the gun. All right, so if I hold that magnet in place now. So you can see I've got my magnet. Uh, lighting inside this thing is. So you can see we've got our magnet there. I would, hang on, what am I doing? Why am I an idiot? How ready dare I? 
it's late, I'm tired, leave me alone. So there's our magnet stuck in the back and you can see our gun. So if I hold the magnet in place, pull that off, it's a bit wobbly. So what we'll do is we'll drop the magnet inside because that's what we want to do. Now I only need eight. So pick that up. I've got one, two, three, four, there. I've got enough of these bigger ones. So again, how's that? Still a bit wobbly, but that could be, yeah, the actual thing is slightly bowed, so. But that's good, that's the noise I like. That's a good noise. So, those are the magnets we are going to use. So the side I want to glue down, because this is a through hole one, if you will, is the side that's close to that. So what I'll do, is stick that on, slide that off, lose my glue, ah, hiding. Oh. Yeah, this is empty, I'm sorry, and my glue is Right, take our gun, hold it there. Oh, push it to the very tippity tip top. And I'm, I'm barely even holding this. I'm literally, literally letting the magnet guide itself into the place it wants to be. And just keep sort of moving it very gently until the glue dries. Sometimes giving it a squeeze down can help. There we go. And that. First one, we don't really care about how badly it's done on the inside, but on the outside we now have our... So all we've got to do now is do all the rest of those and then it is done. So. I'm not going to do it on camera because seriously that would bore the tears off you and extend this video's runtime. No one will watch it that long and the video retention will be terrible and bad things will happen to me. So let's just do the bolter now so that we can prove to ourselves that both will work. File the back of it down. Pull that one off. Get a rough idea of where abouts we want it to go. So it's ever so slightly at the bottom of that. So drilling in. This is the same again, just drill your one millimeter hole, then drill your two millimeter hole then drill your three millimeter hole and this is the trickier one just because of the way the drill behaves as soon as it grabs it snatches it's really irritating and i want a better way to do this yep that's good enough we can take that nice and deep so how to line up your next magnet take your master right put your little and then just pinch it off you always feel better when you pinch it off. Right, and then glue. And then into the hole. And all we're doing, by moving it like this over the flat spot, we're trying to make sure that there any glue that leaks out of the hole doesn't stick to our tool, just the magnet. So now, our bolter we'll click on to be honest is this necessary no you could put two bolters on that and then two flamers on that and then two bolters on that and then two flamers on that and i don't think anybody would care certainly i wouldn't care but just if you're in that kind of mood anyway i'm gonna magnetize the rest of this just for lulz and i'll see you guys next time 
If you've made it this far, thanks very much for watching. There's another couple of videos there you can click on. You can click on the subscribe button if you want to. Uh, like the video if you want to. Stick a comment down if you've anything to say. And in the meantime, happy wargaming. And I'll see you next time.